Hello and welcome to another episode of today's TK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Recently seen in the news, the AI for India 2.0 is a joint initiative of which of the following? GUVI and Startup India, Skill India and GUVI, Skill India and Newton or Startup India and Skill India. The correct answer is option B, Skill India and GUVI. Recently, the Indian government has announced a new free AI course as part of its India 2.0 program. This pioneering initiative is a free online training program with a dedicated focus on artificial intelligence. The program is developed in a collaborative effort between Skill India and GUVI. The program holds accreditations from the National Council for Vocational Education and Training and IIT Madras. The GOVI is a prominent ed-tech company incubated by IIT Madras and IIM Ahmedabad stands at the forefront of personalized learning solutions. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, consider the following statements regarding tiger orchids. 1. It is native to Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Myanmar and Laos. 2. The plant has been listed by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's Smallest orchid. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, one only. Recently, tiger orchid grabbed spotlight as it blooms at Kerala's Jawaharlal Nehru Botanic Garden. The orchid variety native to the Southeast Asia. This species is native to Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Myanmar and Laos. Hence, statement one is correct. The tiger orchid is the largest orchid species in the world. The plant is listed by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's tallest orchid with specimens recorded up to 7.62 meters in height. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. It produces flowers in alternate years in its natural habitat and the flowering starts in June and lasts till August. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is recently the term Tankai method was in the news. It is related to promotion of commercial farming method, tribal painting technique, ancient stitch, ship building method or medieval architectural method. The correct answer is option C, ancient stitched ship building method. Recently the Union Ministry of Culture and the Indian Navy signed an MOU to revive the ancient stitched ship building method, Tankai method. It is an initiative to revive and preserve the 2,000-year-old technique of shipbuilding known as the stitched shipbuilding method or Tankai method. These ships constructed by stitching wooden planks together rather than using nails offered flexibility and durability, making them less susceptible to damage from shoals and sandbars. The project aims to leverage the expertise of the remaining traditional shipwrights in India and showcase their exceptional craftsmanship. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements about the mangrove forest. 1. Mangrove forests only grow at tropical and subtropical latitudes. 2. Mangroves serve as storm buffers by reducing wind and wave action in shallow shoreline areas. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, the mangrove were in news for their effective prevention of disaster during the cyclones. In coastal areas, mangrove forests act as a layer of protection for habitations inland, curbing the impact of floods and cyclones. Mangrove forests only grow at tropical and subtropical latitudes near the equator because they cannot withstand freezing temperatures. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Mangrove forests stabilize the coastline, reducing erosion and serve as storm buffers by reducing wind and wave action in shallow shoreline areas. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following countries. 1. Australia, 2. Turkey, 3. Croatia. Which of the above are members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization or NATO? 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 1, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option B, 2 and 3 only. Recently, the NATO summit was held in Vilnius, Lithuania. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization was created in 1949 by the United States, Canada and several Western European nations to provide collective security against the Soviet Union. At present, NATO has 31 member countries. These countries called NATO allies are sovereign states that come together through NATO to discuss political and security issues 
and made collective decisions by consensus. Its original members were Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Later, Greece and Turkey 1952, West Germany 1955 from 1990 as Germany, Spain 1982, the Czech Republic, Hungary, and Poland 1999, Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia, and Slovenia 2004, Albania and Croatia 2009. Montenegro 2017 North Macedonia 2020 and Finland 2023 joined NATO therefore option B is the correct answer Next question is Bura Chapori wildlife sanctuary was recently seen in the news it is associated with which of the following states or union territories Ladakh Odisha Jammu and Kashmir or Assam the correct answer is option D Assam Recently Assam's Bura Chapori wildlife sanctuary was in news as the forest department cleared 1282 hectares of land where more than 2000 people had set up homes the bura chapori wildlife sanctuary is geographically located on the south bank of the brahmaputra but under the sonitpur district in assam it is a part of the lao khowa bura chapori ecosystem and comprises of a mosaic of wet alluvial grassland riparian and semi evergreen forest dotted by wetland and river systems This sanctuary covers an area of 44.06 square kilometer and is home to the great Indian one-horned rhinoceros, tiger, leopard, wild buffalo, hawk, deer, wild pig and elephants. Therefore option D is the correct answer. Next question is with reference to sovereign green bonds consider the following statements. One the funds raised by green bonds are exclusively used for green projects or businesses. Two the money raised through green bonds is part of overall government borrowing. Which of the statement or statements given above is or not correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, the Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority has shown keen interest in investing pension funds and sovereign green bonds. The green bonds are bonds issued by any sovereign entity, intergovernmental groups, or alliances and corporates, with the aim that the proceeds of the bonds are utilized for projects. classified as environmentally sustainable hence statement 1 is correct the green bonds have emerged as an important financial instrument to deal with the threats of climate change and related challenges the resources mobilized by issuing sovereign green bonds as part of the government's overall market borrowings hence statement 2 is correct therefore option c is the correct answer next question is consider the following statements regarding the term marital rape often seen in the news One, it is a criminal offence under the Domestic Violence Act 2005. Two, it is also mentioned under Section 375 of the IPC. Which of the following statements is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. That is, both the statements are incorrect. Recently, the Supreme Court has agreed to list pleas to criminalise marital rape before three bench judge. In India there are no legal provisions that define marital rape the domestic violence act 2005 hints at marital rape by any form of sexual abuse in a live-in or marriage relationship however it only provides for civil remedies hence statement 1 is not correct the section 375 of the indian penal code defines rape as sexual intercourse with a woman against her will without her consent by coercion misrepresentation or fraud or at a time when she has been intoxicated or duped or is of unsound mental health and in any case if she is under 18 years of age however exception 2 of this section states that sexual intercourse or sexual acts by a man with his own wife the wife not being under 18 years of age is not rape hence statement 2 is not correct therefore option d is the correct answer next question is recently seen in the news the drug Bejaculine is used in which of the following skin cancer ischemic heart disease drug resistant tuberculosis or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease the correct answer is option C drug resistant tuberculosis recently the medical charity medicine sans frontiers has once again urged johnson and johnson to not enforce any secondary patents for its tuberculosis drug bejaculine in any country with a high burden of tb The bedaculine is a drug in tablet form used to treat drug resistant tuberculosis. TB is an infection of the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis in the lungs but often in other organs as well. 
the multi drug resistant or mdr tb resist treatment by at least isoniazid and rifampicin the two frontline drugs in tb treatment in 2018 the world health organization replaced two injectable drugs for mdr tb with an oral regimen that included vedaculine and therefore option c is the correct answer next question is a dramatic fossil has been unearthed which shows a badger like mammal in the act of attacking a plant eating dinosaur mounting its prey and sinking its teeth into its victim's ribs about 125 million years ago which of the following sites has been talked about in the statement given above petrified forest national park usa mammoth site usa adiyakara hills australia or liaoning province china the correct answer is option d liaoning province china recently the scientists have unearthed a dramatic fossil in northeastern china shows a badger like mammal in the act of attacking a plant eating dinosaur mounting its prey and sinking its teeth into its victim's ribs about 125 million years ago dated to the cretaceous period it shows the four legged mammal Reponomus robustus, which is the size of a domestic cat, ferociously entangled with a beaked two-legged dinosaur, Titanosaurus lugiatunensis. The scientists suspect they were suddenly engulfed in a volcanic mud flow and buried alive. The area in the Liaoning Province where the virtually complete fossil was found is called the Chinese Pompey, owing to various fossils of animals buried in volcanic eruptions. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Last question is recently seen in the news the term picolinic acid is related to a natural compound produced by mammalian cells a compound used in making detonators a compound produced by venomous snakes or an industrial compound the correct answer is option a a natural compound produced by mammalian cells recently a new study by researchers at the indian institute of science and collaborators have revealed that Picolinic acid a natural compound produced by mammalian cells can block several viruses including those responsible for SARS-CoV-2 and influenza A according to a study published in Cell Reports Medicine the compound's remarkable ability to disrupt the entry of enveloped viruses into the host cell and prevent infection the picolinic acid is known to help in the absorption of zinc and other trace elements from argot but in its natural form it stays inside the body only for a short duration and is usually excreted out quickly when the compound was tested in sars cov 2 and influenza animal models it was found to protect the animals from infection it was also found to reduce viral load in the lungs when given to infected animals therefore option a is the correct answer now it's time for the practice question recently the electron rain shower on the planet mercury was captured by which of the following james webb space telescope bepi colombo spacecraft hubble space telescope or gemini observatory send the answer of this question in the comment section stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching